uh, what's going on, and today we are going to be discussing a very interesting topic that I ran across a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I saw a video by IBX Toy Cat. Uh, it'll be um, in the indication box, info box, uh, in the top right corner over there if you want to check it out. It was about getting netherite for wood. So I decided not to watch the video because I was like, it seems interesting. It doesn't seem normal. I, I would like to try it. So I have uh, developed a kind of situation where anyone can do this in any seed. I just have it a bit more simple. So um, if you enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. My channel is pretty small at this point and I'd like to go it a lot. Um, and yeah, let's get right into the video. So, okay, let's say that you spawn near a tree um, or a forest. Um, in a normal game, you would usually start chopping the tree. However, we're trying to get netherite before we get wood, right? So I'm gonna split this in a couple of categories. Most of them are going to revolve kind of around the same idea, but um, they're just a tiny bit different. So for this first one, uh, what you're gonna do, so you're gonna spawn. Every single world has a lot of villages, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, and most oak villages have blacksmiths. So uh, what you have to do is you have to come in here. And usual, in some of them, there's some obsidian. Now, of course, uh, for pur for correct purposes, um, there is a good amount of obsidian. But if there isn't enough obsidian, uh, you can go to multiple blacksmiths, or you can find a ruined portal and you can get some there. So, um, also usually in blacksmiths, there is iron, and sometimes flint. And if there isn't, uh, you can find that in some other loot chests, like maybe a desert temple. So these are kind of like the main ingredients that you need for here. So um, next, what you want to do is um, you want to find a ruined uh, portal. And again, and you sh probably should have gotten into the lava as well. Um, so here, you have to open it up. And oh, usually, sometimes there's obsidian there. Uh, this gold axe isn't really that useful. So basically what you need the ruined portal for is um, to build the actual nether portal because it's gonna probably take some time to um, uh, find enough obsidian and blacksmiths. So from the ruined portal, it's also a bit helpful. Um, so basically what you have to do is you have to spend a lot of time breaking this crying obsidian, but sometimes there's more obsidian so the piglins won't attack you. So you want to do is you want to come across um, a bastion. Um, and for like easy purposes, I just have this. In, a ba in many bastions, there can be netherite scrap. So of course, if there isn't enough netherite scrap in one bastion, you can um, go to multiple. So for the purposes um, of this video, I have the perfect amount here. I will bet you so much money 
that there is going to be gold in a bastion. It like it's the home of the piglins, and piglins love gold. So I will guarantee that there will be enough gold for that bastion. So now that we're done with the Nether stage, what you have to do is you have to go back to the Overworld. So once you arrive back into the Overworld, uh, what you'd want to do is you want to go back to the village and you want to find a crafting table. In most villages, I think in every single village you'll, you'll find a crafting table. They're pretty common. And once, since you have enough netherite scrap, all you have to do is you have to just build it. So, one here, one here, and one here, and then one here, one here, and you're ready, one there. Boom. And this is how you can obtain the netherite ingot without touching at all wood. So you may be asking, what do you do after that? You already have the most, the hardest item to obtain in Minecraft. Well, what you should do, go mine that tree you mine next. It will be helpful. Oh, and by the way, uh, the other way to get the netherite is um it's a bit cheating if you want to call it that but um you can just what you can do is you can just um go to a desert and get these uh, dead bushes so let me damage so as you can see uh they can drop sticks and once you have enough sticks uh for i don't know maybe like tools or whatever you can uh go to back to like a blacksmith or something the pickaxe you can go to that ruined portal get that precious gold that everyone wants and um but the gold sword isn't really that necessary and um you can with the gold with the uh, pickaxe what you can do is you can go mining for the diamonds and once you uh have the diamonds you can go to the nether and you can get the netherite it's pretty simple so i hope you enjoyed today's video it was a bit different from the other ones uh because it's kind of just like minecraft theory or whatever but i seriously hope you enjoyed it uh have a good day and please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye